Well, I watched back through uh, the video of the previous episode, and turns out I did indeed miss a uh, threaten piece or whatever, enforce piece from the Mamlux. So pretty game ruining in my opinion, but what am I going to do about it, you know? So uh, now we're just going to sit here on speed five and uh, build up our armies and hopefully not get attacked by our uh, neighbors. But uh, welcome back one and all to some EU4 here. Oh, perfect. Cool, 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 cool. Let's uh, just accept those demands because I will not be bothered with that. A peasant's war, apparently. Very good. A nice little bit of insult to injury would be incredible. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's just uh, get a little bit of manpower there. It says I need 50%. Oh, and also civil war. Well, which one do you get? Want? Choose your pick your poison here. Uh, war exhaustion less than 10. Stability. We're not going to get any of this stuff, man. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. I, I didn't really have a say in what was going on there. Um, Mamlux joined and I didn't see it. So it's just unfortunate, but it is what it is. I can't really be too, um, you know, too upset about it. It was, it was just me not, I guess in the moment I was paying attention to what was going on here. And I, the, I think maybe it would make more sense if a call of uh, a threaten or what is it? Enforce peace if it was a little bigger, but, uh, or like if it popped up an event, you know, but whatever. It is what it is. So yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Our legitimacy is also zero, so. Ay ay ay. We can't do anything about the manpower. This is very unfortunate. What an unfortunate turn of events there. We have rebels looking to pop, and there's nothing I can do about it at all. <laughs> Let's see here. Can I Oh, we lost Crownland as well. Burgers are super mad. You know what? Screw it. I'll just sell it. We're going to need that money eventually anyway. So use that to build up our army a bit more. We're not going to get the manpower to uh, cut this event. So we might as well go for it. Need to boost our stability up. Peasants war is going to do what again? Stab cost. Oh, perfect. And I bet I'm going to lose a stab. I guarantee you I'm going to lose a stab when it fires before I can even buy one up. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Hey, there we go. Let's boost that up. Now, if I lose three, I'm going to lose my cool, though. Oh, maybe we don't lose any. All right, cool. Screw it. I don't care. Oh, we do lose three. Dude, oh, that's tragic, man. Wait, Civil War is still going up? Are you kidding me? Is that like a real... Is that a real thing? Wait, we do not have... Oh, I accepted their demands. Cool. Well... Yeah, I don't really know what to do at this point, other than just kind of sit here and uh, wait for... Because, like, I'm not going to be able to get my legitimacy up. Look at this. <laughs> Half off trader. Half off trader here. No. So expensive. Stab cost, yes, please. Let's boost this stab up, boys. Get those numbers up. Let's go with... Improve relations half off. Sounds good. We need mana. The fact that I wasn't able to get tech there really hurt things. Yeah, the unrest down here is pretty bad. Like, what in the heck? Why is it so bad? The war exhaustion intolerance. Ah, yes. They do not follow the true faith. Of course they don't. Let's see here. 15 dev. 16 dev. Kaffa is the appropriate religion, though. So these guys are going to pop here. So as long as we stand here, we're good. Yep. And, oh my gosh, my morale is so bad because of bankruptcy. I forgot about that. <laughs> Yikes. All right. This is fine. Luckily, we have this gold income to uh, help us out. Now, admittedly, I don't think I've ever really struggled with uh, these events like this. The, the last time I think I bankrupted was my uh, Byzantium, my Basilius run. Hey, very good. A little bit of war exhaustion going down there. How much? 
how many men is this? 8k? All right. Goodness gracious. What an absolute tragedy. We were doing so good as well. So once we get our stability higher than zero, it will stop, which is good. There we go. Those guys are going to fire now. My morale is literally poopy. This is mountains, so we can park our guys here. We have merchants, but we can't do anything with them except, I guess, collect over here. But guys, if I didn't already say it, welcome back to... Uh, Welcome back to uh, EU4 and 1.32. So in the last episode, if you missed it, uh, I attacked a doll and was a shoe in to win. We were steamrolling them. We were up at like 20 to 30% war score. And then the Mamlux in, uh, enforced peace on us and I didn't see it. And uh, we got clapped, got absolutely clapped. So right now we are bankrupt and I lost a bunch of my land. Um, and uh, there's not really much I can do, to be honest with you. We are basically doomed at this point. Um, we're going to have to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. But because we don't have any allies in the area either, because we are Jewish and uh, people do not like the Jewish faith around, around these parts. So I've picked up on. These Janjiro rebels are about to fire anyway, so. Hopefully it's these ones first. It's a 50 50 which one's going to pop first. So we'll see. Or they pop at the same time. That, that could also happen. Uh, no, I will not lose a stability, but what I will do is boost my stability twice to get rid of this, uh, this guy here. That will also help out with the provincial unrest. There we go. Very good. Absolutely getting clapped over here. Now these guys will suppress those rebels there. And everything is good. It's good. We're just going to have to sit and bide our time. Now, as far as institution goes, I literally have no provinces that would be good to dev it. I don't have a single one. What I will do is, since it looks like this this uh, gold mine depleted, we're going to dev that up again. And I suppose for now, I'll just push through this, though Miltech is going to be really important. Yeah, we need, we need to get caught up on tech, so we're going to work on that now. Let's see here. Get some money. And even if I don't get money, I'm still lowering the uh, product or the um, the tax on there. So let's see here. Can I upgrade this center of trade as well? I can. Very good. That'll increase our income a little bit. I mean, there's quite a bit that's being steered out of there. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know, man. Oh, shoot. Are we done with our bankruptcy yet? Looks like it. What is our morale? Very good. Okay, bankruptcy is over, which is good. So with those rebels there, that means these guys still need to come up here. Prevent these guys from uh, crushing us out. Let's convert as much as we can now. Now it's just going to be a little bit of time of internal growth, right? Sometimes you lose, Sometimes you lose wars and there's not really a whole lot you can do about it. That one was a tough one. Again, just an oversight because I missed the uh, the enforced piece. But it is what it is. I am not uh, super upset about it. Though, to be honest with you, it might be a little easier said than done to get things back up to where uh, where we want them. Meritocratic recruitment is the way to do it. Cheaper advisors is always good. Back to the Lord. Very cool. Thank you for the conversions. Ogadine wants an alliance, huh? An OPM over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass on that one. Okay, now that our bankruptcy is over, we can get some alliances. I suppose... Oh my gosh. To be honest with you, this might seem a little crazy, but uh, I think this is actually my chance. This is definitely my chance here. So what we're going to do here is going to wait on the monthly tick. Attack them for al Qadif or whatever. However you say that province. Their ally is two province minor over here. So I don't care about them. And I'm going to carpet siege them as quickly as possible. And don't let a single province defect. Go 
All right. We just need to occupy these guys in, in their entirety ASAP. And there is a rebel stat coming here. Okay. Let's, um... That should be an easy win, but still. It's more manpower loss that I don't want to lose, but that's okay. Obviously, we need to just cover all of their provinces first. So they don't fall to the rebels. And that should be basically that. Okay. Siege them down. And I plan to full annex them. This is a lot of land that we're going to need. We basically exiled ourselves out of our homelands. Yep. We have claims on all of it. So this is totally free. We can afford it on the admin level. So we're going to end up needing to... Uh, let's score that. We're going to end up needing to peace out Aniza, which is fine. We can do that. No problem. Let's uh, get some of these guys over here and then get them over there. We have one siege pip. That is fine with me. Nice little opportunistic war. I will take it. Meanwhile, we can uh, loot their provinces as well. A little bit extra money in the bank. I'm glad we kept our defensive fort over here. That's a big one. Need to continue converting everybody. Now, we're not going to be deving anytime soon. So let's go tall into the true faith. Help us out with our um, with our unrest there. Oh, shoot, man. Um, is that the province we're converting right now? It's not. Sadly, we're going to end up... Okay. Are these guys in a war over here? They are. Okay. Well, let's um get you guys up there and, and kill that army. Now, I don't know where you're going. And I don't have mill access over here. So, I guess we're chilling. I definitely... What in the world? Okay. I, we need the prestige, but uh, it's a little steep in my opinion. All right, let's get these guys grouped up so we can have them go fight out these... They're, they're going to be on a mountain province as well, which is just so punishing, but it's okay. Get them down there. As soon as we win this siege, we can start, uh, you know, handling the rest of this. These guys are heading down into Agu. Agu, Ragu. You guys know what Ragu is? It's the Saos. Let's get you guys killed. Oh my gosh, they're so fast. The AI is always faster than the player. You cannot convince me otherwise. It literally is a fact. There you go. There we go. Thank you. Kill them all. Destroy the child. There you go. Solid. But yeah, we're not going to be able to integrate them until we occupy their capital as well as get these guys out of the war. There you go. Even if we keep doing this, they're still not going to be wanting out. And by the way, I apologize if you guys can hear a little bit of the fan going on. I It is warm in my office so I, I got the uh i got the the fans running try to keep me cool i think i got a little too heated during that last episode as well <laughs> there we go i'll also take all their money as well screw you guys we're not going to take this because we need to make sure we have uh plenty of plenty of mana for tech unify the tribes Ooh, this will colonize this province here very good and we gain newbie as an nubian as an accepted culture very cool also a claim where? I do not recall, but a little bit of growth there, right? Name is bigger. Sadly, it's like literally all bad land, but still. It's land that I'm happy to have. Yep, overextension. So until we get our legitimacy up, it's it's not going anywhere. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh shoot. Let's get you guys down there. These guys are going to end up having a ton of unrest, like a crazy amount of unrest. Stab cost modifier. That's fine. We need to yoink some crown lands. Let's do that. We need to get our crown land as high as possible, as quickly as possible. Fighting a couple of rebels here isn't going to be a big deal. Uh, I will go with... Um, yeah, I suppose we can get a couple of Kawa in there. Oh, did not mean to uh, go over the limit there. Get those guys reinforced now. Continue converting, of course. 
Not bad. All right. Well, I'm happy with that. I uh, admittedly, my my spirits were quite low uh, when I was looking when I went to go start this recording session. So after the uh, disaster that was the last episode. <laughs> And we're also stuck with this guy because we don't have any prestige. You cannot uh, eat a baby. Throw our air off the balcony. It is what it is. Let's uh, improve our relations with these guys just to make sure that they don't attack me again. Now, I, I'm also going to do some covert. See if I can steal some maps from these guys. Let's hope we don't get attacked here. If we get attacked, it's game over. I'm at my force limit. There's not only so much I can do here. Our autonomy is so high as well. Yeah, and if I get rid of this, the unrest modifier will go away. Yeah. So our autonomy is just stuck where it is, and there's nothing I can do about it. Also, why have these guys been on 90% for like this whole time? Yeah, this unrest is dumb. This is dumb. What can I do? My legitimacy, overextension, right? We're almost done with our cores, so that'll happen soon. They're on admin 7 compared to our uh, not good at tech. Okay, very good. Those guys will get handled. Solid. We're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, as far as colonialism goes, man, it's like... Or... Oh, we don't have rena... We don't have renaissance? Oh. Was I deving renaissance and I forgot about it? Was I? No. I... Maybe I was? No, 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 no. I've devved a few of my provinces, but that's not it. I, I need to dev this guy here. Specifically for that mission. And then... Speaking of... Let's, uh... We need to turn these guys all off as well. Just turn them all off, actually. That'll save us a little bit of extra monthly cash as well. Like a duck and a half, actually. So it'll be pretty useful. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, mammies. Have, have mercy on me, please. I'm a good boy. I didn't do nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't even see this. Well, heck yeah, dude. I'll take that legitimacy. We're going to need it. Lord knows. Let's uh, core this all up, of course, when it's done coring. That will help out with our autonomy a bit. Let's take that mill tech. Sadly. So we get better cavalry. So I should probably boost them up. Well, which one's better? Yeah, offensive is fine. Um... Get a port. We can try that. Sheesh, man. That should raise our... our um, very good. I can't believe that these guys didn't, didn't ever pop. Let's have those guys head up here. Join them up in the army there. Not the most exciting episode, but at least we got some clay, right? These guys are allied to the mams. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Funge separatists. Now that these guys are off the province, they're going to fire now. Almost guaranteed, right? Isn't that how that works? Dungola. Let's have you guys come over here. Have those guys head back down there. Both stacks are going to be small enough. All right. Build some of these buildings here. Definitely going to need more forts. Uh, I think that this last war definitely showed me uh, 
how our lack of forts how devastating that was so i'm gonna put another one right here on this mountain province and then i think hmm what's a good one probably like this one here would keep you from going through this wasteland here as well as it would communicate here and then another one down here i think would be good Speaking of that, how is our devastation? Yeah, we can turn that fort off. I can't believe these, these, uh, there we go. About time. Okay, this is like absolutely perfect. A two, four, three. I don't know, lads. What do you think? Do we risk it? This is like good. This is good. Um, it's only nine points. I think we're, I think we can do better. He is fertile as well, right? Oh. Who's fertile? I thought somebody said... Some, it said somewhere that somebody was fertile. Fertile. But yeah, uh, a lot of people may not know this, but since uh, I think 1.31, they made it so you cannot uh, decrease autonomy in a province that has recently had rebels because it will actually um, revert. It will take away the, the modifier. For having um, recently had rebels and 12 points it is minus or minus thank you you've revived my hope in this campaign lads leave a like for minus or however that is pronounced I would appreciate that um, here in a couple of months we'll be able to take some more clay these guys are getting beat up on again well this this is a war I can get behind. Abso-frickin-lutely. Let's go. Now let's hope I don't get, uh, get enforced peace on again, because that's going to get on my nerves. I don't think we need to speed five this, though. But is this our chance? Is this our chance, lads? Let's uh, do something like this. Occupy as many provinces as possible. Sadly, they're probably going to get there before me. 18th. And uh, we'll be there on the 23rd. Yeah, sadly. This is fine. Okay, so these guys are actually on a fort, which is hilarious. Yemen, you dum-dums. You dum-dums, Yemen, on a mountain fort? Oh, they got a wall breach. Look at that. They got a good old wall breach here. We have Miltech now. So does Yemen... Six, six, six. Okay, everybody's on six. That's fine. Uh, let's get over there with our 3-5 general. Let's get you guys over here with our 323. Are you... What? Brother, how are you so fast? They had, like, delayed notice and still somehow managed to get away. Yeah, all right, whatever. We'll scorch it. Because these guys are getting absolutely thrashed in another war. So that's, like, best case scenario for us. And these guys are now sieging down another mountain fort over here. Which I am building a fort on right now, which is super annoying. Let's see if we can get them off there before they occupy it. Now, do they have mill access? They should. They'll have mill access through the MAM, so I have to be mindful of that. Okay, we're gonna catch these guys. Our Kawa infantry are going to. They receive shock damage less. Shock damage, so solid numbers on our end. Absolutely, that's a seven stack wipe. Oh my gosh, all these events converting our provinces is like S tier. Look at that. Nice. The Jewish name grows larger. How do, I don't I need to I need to learn a couple of uh, good phrases that for uh for in Hebrew. So lads, if you are a a Jewish individual, I want you to leave a comment and let me know. How do you say like dude, what are you talking about? How am I supposed to play the game? How do I play this game? I My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. <sighs> okay. That is whack AF. Whack, whack, whack. All right. Well, I suppose we drill our armies now. That is very annoying. Let's get another Kawa infantry in there. All right. Well... 
Let's also start building some buildings here. Let's take a look at our missions and where we're up to next here. Yeah, we're not going to... I can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> I definitely need to be taking tech, though. Admin coming up soon as well. These guys are already on seven, right? <laughs> yeah, if they were to uh, intervene on that, that would be an absolute automatic loss with like no possible way out, so. Dominance of the clergy. Oh, I don't have to worry about that. They, it won't be going, oh, it is going up? At peace? Loyal, oh, loyalty under 50. That's fine, it'll be up sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't need to worry about that. That won't happen. The civil war is not going up. Our legitimacy is still in the in the dumpster. Let's uh, just start boosting that up to help uh, help out with that. Our PP is teeny tiny. Let's uh, send a scornful insult to these guys. Let them know that they suck and that we hate them. Oh, I don't have positive prestige, so I can't. Yeah, I forgot about that. I know I'm working on a mill group as well. And we're like going to fall behind on tech again. But like... Aye, aye, aye. So I guess we're at a kind of a, an impasse here where the question is, is do we, what do we sink our mana into? Tech? The Renaissance, which realistically will be here pretty soon, right? They've embraced it. So I think we will get it pretty soon since they're friendly to us. I don't think this is actually a huge deal. <gasps> Excuse me. A little hiccup there. I think this is okay, actually. We'll be able to embrace it. We'll have to dev colonialism here in about 20 years, though. I don't think there's any way around that. But uh, yeah, a bit of a disappointment of an episode, though. I will say uh, we made a bunch of gains over here. So that's good. Uh, and luckily for us, whenever you go to war with somebody, it resets your cores, your core uh, cooldown timer. So we'll have plenty of time to come back to them. So I guess for the time being, the issue is that none of this is good province to dev. Like steps is terrible. Drylands is pretty bad, but it's not actually that bad. But like all of our land over here is garbage. So... It's just one of those things we're going to have to work our way through. But uh, I think we made a decent comeback after a terrible episode. But the freaking Mamlux enforcing peace on me is so infuriating. And I don't really know how to avoid it. I had my relations maxed out with them to the best of my abilities. But uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ding the bell. So, um, join the subreddit, Discord, um, Twitter, all that stuff. It's all linked in the description below as well as my Patreon. If you have it within your means, you want to support content that you love. My Patreon is the best way to do it. That's all I got for you for today, guys. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'm going to catch you guys later.